Hey guys, it's Jessica here from Kunzi One, and I'm coming back to show you another project that I wanted to do today. And I saw it on Pinterest, and it's painting chevron stripes onto a canvas. I got these canvases really um, for a really great price from Hobby Lobby. They were only $7.99, and um, they had this paint on sale right now for $3.99. So it was, it's a really good, inexpensive project. You just need canvas, paint, a paintbrush, and some painter's tape. First I started off by taping off the chevron stripes. And this, I have to admit, was a little tricky for me to um, figure it all out. So I just grabbed what was handy, and that was a magazine. And I made a little pen mark on my magazine. I don't know if you could see that. And that's where um, I lined that up on my canvas to show where each point would be. So I laid it on my canvas, made a little pen mark, and then if you can kind of see, um, I made little lines, and that's where each point is going to come to. And so I finished this one, and then I decided I wanted this one to go horizontally. So I'm getting ready to work on this one, and uh, so I'm putting the tape down, when you do, don't worry about it getting becoming like long on one end. You're just going to have to go through and trim up these little edges so that way you have a nice clean edge. I'm going to finish putting the tape onto the canvas. I'll come back and start painting. All right, so I'm going to get started painting. I finished all my taping off, and so I will just get started and you can follow me I'll speed it up so you, it's not going to take so long. Okay so I'm at a point now where it's not completely dry but I'm ready to pull the tape off because I am worried that if I let it dry completely that it might crack or peel paint um, when I pull the tape off. So you're just gonna really carefully um, start pulling the tape and because it can still pull some of that paint off. As you can see, we're getting a little closer here, you can see that the lines aren't all perfect. You can see that um, especially like up in this corner that my tape wasn't down um, perfectly. For me that's okay because I like more of a worn look, more of an um, antique type of look. So what I'm going to do when it is completely dry, I'm going to take some sandpaper and I'm going to sand off some of the paint to give it more of that aged look. Alright, so I'm going to now take some sandpaper and um, it's pretty it's pretty light sandpaper and I'm just going to go over some of the areas and kind of rough it up a little bit and just give it a kind of worn look especially along the edges and don't do it too much where you're going to be wiping too much of the paint off you don't want to mess up all your work also you can take the sandpaper and like get little spots like this out um, just by rubbing the sandpaper and I get a lot of those like um, messed up edges. I'll just make them look a little softer. and I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, I concentrated with the sandpaper in some spots more than others and just to kind of give it more of the worn look and I also concentrated around on the edges. I, like I said, I don't want to wipe away all my paint but I want to give it a little more of a, an older feel to it. So give it a try and it was really easy and fun and a real inexpensive um, project to do. So enjoy, thanks for watching, see you next time.